はい。As you can hear, this one has extra background noise because the dishes are being run through the dishwasher. I'm thinking about the part where. Like, there's a question that people who do creative stuff ask, which is, does anybody listen to anything I say? Does anybody care? And I think it's worth looking at what that word, anybody, means. So, um, last I checked, my previous T vlog had seven views on YouTube. Um, and like, I remember a story of a baseball sabermetrician, somebody who got really involved in trying to turn numbers describing baseball into understanding. And, um, forget what his name is. He, he, like there was an entire chapter of Moneyball devoted to this guy. He was an important figure in the history of sabermetrics. Anyway, his first years, whatever you call it, of statistics. It, like, a half dozen people bought it, or a dozen people, on that scale, same kind of scale of a handful of people. And he was incredibly encouraged. I, it might have been as many as 30 or whatever, but he was really encouraged because people were looking at this thing he made. People were engaging with it. People were interested in what he had to say. Does anybody care what I have to say? If you're YouTube or Twitch.tv or Mixer, I, I'm, prob I'm guessing if you're Mixer, like, if you are a commercial platform, then the thing that you want is for, the thing you want is people who have large audiences. You want to bring in people with, who, who will have tens of thousands of viewers so that you get money on an ad revenue way. Like, I don't know what the exact statistics are. I remember hearing that for like Spotify, each play of a piece of music is worth 0 0.0029 cents to the person who made it. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know the exact numbers, but we're talking that kind of scale where it's what is valuable if you are Twitch or YouTube is it, does anyone see it is a question of are thousands of people or tens of thousands of people seeing it for a person for someone whose intentions are not commercial if seven people show up in a Twitch stream that I'm doing, that's a success. Like, I don't even like streams where you can't keep up with chat. Like, if the worst happened and my stream took off in a huge way, then I would make a chat room that was like a private chat room only accessible to people who meet some kind of criterion, like my friends and maybe if I set up Patreon, then there would be some people from Patreon or something like that. But it would be a chat room where I bring that number way, way down. 
And I have, I, I find people who are moderators who can be like, hey, someone said this in the big chat. And I can respond to things from the big chat that get brought to my attention, but I have a chat room that is of a scale that I can work with. That, that, that happens at a rate that a human being can keep up with. I kind of have... I like to see all the things. Like, that's the way I approach social media, is I try to filter the pile of accounts that I follow to a point where... Uh, the list is short enough that I can get up, open my computer, and read everything that got posted since I turned off my computer last night. And it's an hour or two, because I have a lot of free time, but it is within my ability to do. <sighs> like, I like that small scale. And so, like, does anybody care what I have to say? I know at least, like, two people will. And that's being really, really conservative, because, like, no, it's... There are more than two friends of mine who care what I have to say. And so, does anyone care what I have to say? I think when, I think it is worthwhile to be like, okay, what do I mean by anyone right now? Because there is a ad revenue definition of anyone. And there is a change the world definition of anyone. But, um... The YouTube video essayist Ian Danskin made a comment on his Curious Cat in response to a question about how what he learned in school is that you make art for yourself. You can't control how many people notice what you have to say. You can't control how many people care what you have to say. And I think in many ways, like, now I'm remembering, like, something I said about Minecraft. Because I've played a lot of Minecraft, and as of recently, I almost exclusively play it on server. And it's not even that active a server. I think there's like half a dozen people who log in sometimes, and that's generous. It used to be a little bit more active in that there were like a dozen people who logged in frequently, but not anymore. But the point is... If I build a road on this server, if I take a double chest full of cobblestone and turn it into, I don't know, half a kilometer or a kilometer of two meter wide cobblestone slab road going from the spawn area to a village, or from one village to another village, or going just west from over there, because why, why not? There's a chance someone will see it. There's a chance someone will see it. And like, that's enough, really. Is, is creating this chance. Like, it, 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 it is worth something to me. It is worth a lot more to me. It is possible for me to make myself do it. Because, you know what? It's possible that someone will log on to the server and say, I wonder where that road goes. And will go running along that road and they will go through the forests and up 
the hills and across the bridges across the rivers and along that little road built into the built onto the edge of a cliff that is just going from one plateau to the next plateau and at the end of it I'd be like oh hey this is somebody's like horse ranch or something that's interesting and like I didn't build the horse ranch but I built the road that got them there and they took that road and they were like this is a cool road and look at this thing that I found at the end of it and like, to create something, you do it part in part for yourself. I'm making this vlog in part because I like talking to camera. I like talking to the internet and trying to say something that would be engaging and interesting. But I'm also making this vlog in part because, um... Someone might watch it and listen to it and think to themselves, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. I'm going to think about that. I'm going to let that sit and, and maybe do something different because of what I thought of that. And when I say someone, I mean... Someone. I don't mean 10,000 people. I don't mean 100,000 people. I don't mean a million people. I don't mean 50 people. Somebody might watch this and be like, you know what? That book that I want to write. There are six people who will probably read that. And that's worth my time. For me, personally, it's worth my time to spend all this time writing in hopes that six people will read it. With the expectation that six people will read it. Six is enough. And if it's six thousand or six million, then that's really interesting and that's maybe life changing, but six is enough. So, does anyone care? I mean, take a second and remember that any one is any one. Does one person care? And even if you don't include yourself in that, and you probably should. And there's a lot of stuff where one person will care. And that's probably enough. 